You know the baby penguins are brown? Pretty fluffy, yeah? So what shape should we draw first? What's the big shape? Yeah. So if you're having a hard time seeing how long versus how wide it is, I usually like to do a rectangle because it's easier. It's easier for me to think, oh, this big versus this big. We can always draw the oval inside afterwards. Okay. That's pretty good. Then what's next? Okay. So maybe like an oval for the head like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like you're saying like a triangle like this, maybe? Like two like two triangles like that? Okay, maybe side to side like that. Okay. Okay, a curved triangle for the beak. Like that maybe? Okay. Yeah, stretch out triangle. Like that. Okay, we want to curve out our, our, our rectangle. So now we can add curve lines. It's e a lot easier to draw the curve lines after we have the box. So. What else did we draw for, for his head? Okay, tiny circle. Okay. And anything else we should draw? Mm -hmm. For that, I like to think of them as patterns. So we can kind of go like this. You know? This. Maybe we can also add maybe an eyebrow just to make it look more human like. And what kind of line can we draw to connect the feet? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Cool. And so if we want to draw this guy walking, we could draw and draw the box. So we now already have the mental model for how to draw a penguin. We draw a square or a rectangle, draw a circle, draw rectangles, I mean triangles for the feet, and triangles for the arms. So you can draw curved triangles if you wanted to. And you can also draw that rectangle, uh, that triangle for the beak. <laughs> and we'll curve it out. To make it swimming, I think you would first make it horizontal. And then look, the wings are open. You kind of look like birds when they're flying, but they're actually swimming. Okay, so what shape should we draw again for the body here? If you're feeling really confident, you can just draw the oval. Either way, it works. Okay, and then what do we do next to the head? Mm -hmm. Head. Yep. Trying for the beak. <laughs> the triangle. Yep. And if you wanted to move the triangle, you can, or if you want to make them flapping, you can move it up and down. First could be triangles. Okay. So you can draw some triangles for the flippers. And then do you see the tail? What kind of shape can we draw for the for the tail? Yeah, you can draw for the triangle. So you actually have three overlapping triangles. I think the tail is bigger than the feet. No, actually the tail is smaller than the feet. Okay. So we can have our drawing tail like this and overlaps the feet. And erase the stuff underneath. How do you connect the neck? Yeah. 
So you can do two lines. How do you draw the eye? Okay, you're a penguin drawing pro now. Up next is a ballerina. Okay, so what shape do we draw first? Yeah, let's start with the big shape. We came up with a body, okay. And I'm gonna curve it because she's kind of moving. Okay, what next? The skirt's pretty big. You wanna do an oval fit skirt? I like that. Okay. Okay, so now we have our big shape. And this is our big shape. What are some medium shapes that we can go next? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can draw her head. Circle. All right. Yep. Yeah. So what shape do we draw with her our, our arms and her legs? Yeah, so we can draw. I'm gonna make it simplified. Yeah, you know, kinda like that pose. So maybe we can draw a curved rectangle this way. And maybe if, I'm gonna change my pose a little bit. It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so that'll be the back leg. And maybe she's doing the same thing. Front arm and back arm. Front arm. Okay. Yeah. What about her feet and her toes? Yeah. Okay, so what else should we draw now that we've got her head, her arms, her legs? Yeah. Let that in. Okay. Okay. How about after that? Mm -hmm. oh, that's a mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How do we draw the front over here? Great. One curved line, two curved lines. Okay, what shape do we draw for here? Yeah, the gold wall again. We can race around. We can race inside of it. Cool. Let's work on our costume, yeah? You want to draw the top of her skirt first? Okay, so what kind of shape should we draw here? Okay, with a rectangle with a few triangles on top, like this. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. We can also add this pattern at the end. Yeah. What do you think? How do we draw folds? And do they overlap? So when you have a bendy box like this, you can have it overlap like this, and you can have those curves. I'm gonna erase a little bit of our box out there and make it squeeze so we can have some overlaps. In drawing, you're gonna have, this is what they call a stretch side. And then you have the side that's crunched and so the crunch side is where you actually put folds. The easy way to think about it is, what's the side that's long, and then what's the side that's short? Okay, how do we draw our fingers? Yep, folds and rectangles. You wanna add some last details for her, her shoes? Okay, what should we do here? Yeah, some lines like that.
Yeah. Maybe like that like that. You can also put maybe some shadow in it. Nice. All right, so we've got two down. Let's draw a castle next. Tell me the shapes that you've seen here, and I'm going to draw them in red. What are the simple shapes that you see? Yeah, so there's triangles for the tops, right? Oh yeah, you see a lot of rectangles, yeah? So we're going to take these re uh, these, these uh, rectangles and we can make them into cylinders just by curving. What we're going to do is we're going to first take the triangles and then we're going to turn them into castles like this. Okay? But let's, let's look at all the shapes that we need to draw first. That way we know exactly what we're drawing. So what shape would this be here? Yeah. So there's lots of rectangles. And this is also another rectangle, right? Yeah. Now what shape is this right here? That's a rectangle with a triangle on top. You see this shape right here? What shape is that? Yeah, it's a good thing. Okay. okay, I think we're ready to draw our castle. So let's draw the big part of the castle first. What shape can we draw the big part of the castle? All right. And then that is like the main part of the house. And then there's a wing of the house. What shape can we draw this wing of the house? Well, let's draw this part first, okay? Before we draw the triangle, let's draw this part first, okay? So let's draw this big first one. Let's draw this first thing, and then let's add some towers. We we'll draw the top of the tower, triangle. And then, what do we do next? Yeah. Okay, and what shape do we draw at the top? Yeah. And then we do the same thing, two lines down. Remember we drew this triangle here, like this, and with this square? So maybe we can draw that triangle here. We can draw that rectangle all the way down. Okay, and then on here, there are two chimneys on the top. What shape can we draw the chimneys out of? And a line through it. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's keep going. So we have on the side of the house, some rectangles, some triangles, yeah? How many do you count here? Yeah, so there's probably two on the side of the house. On that one here. And then we also draw a smaller one right here. So now we can draw the stair shift up right here. Castles are basically just triangles and lots of rectangles. And lots of chimneys. They have lots of chimneys. <laughs> I guess castles get cold. All right. Do you see how? Do you see the windows? What kind of shape do we draw with the windows with? Yeah. So they're kind of long rectangles with a plus sign inside of it, right? 
So I think for our castles, we just gotta add a bunch of windows. And you can make some small windows too, if you want. I think our castle needs some flowers because our castle looks kind of boring without the flowers. What shape do we use to draw flowers? Okay. Sometimes you can add a big circle for a flower, or for a bush, and then you can add some flowers in the bush. You can add some flags if you want. Flags are cool. And then if you want to finish your castle, if you want to say this is made of bricks, you can add some bricks, brick textures. All right, you guys did an awesome job. Wasn't that fun? And wasn't that simple and easy? All right, so if you like that video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our videos. We make videos every single week. And we have a special step-by-step -step guide for you in the link below. So go ahead and click the link below and download it. And we'll see you next time at Creativity School.